Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. Uh, <laughs> yes, this is another uh, 3D printed mask. This is uh, Bane's mask from Batman. Um, uh, this is actually for the missus, this one, funnily enough. <laughs> uh, she, uh, she likes the design of this one um, more than some of the others that I've done, uh, mainly because it's a bit more comfortable to wear, funnily enough. Um, so this is kind of screen accurate, not 100%, but uh, I've made a few minor changes, like these, the holes in the sides I've covered with some mesh because it's going to have a fabric mask on the inside of it. And also I haven't put the grill over the front because um, it just makes it a bit easier to breathe through it. Uh, so um, yeah, I'm going to uh, paint this one up today, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, and I thought you might like to come along for the journey. So let's get on with it. So one of the interesting things uh, about this mask, if you look at the screenshots from the film and that, the mask actually isn't black. It's a very dark brown. Uh, so I'm actually going to use the dark brown that I mixed up for the Immortan Joe mask. I've got some of that left and I'm going to use that to spray the body. So we'll spray the body first and then we'll come back and look at the pipes and accoutrements. for that okay now for the silver bits I'm going to use this uh, this is um, abstract innovative acrylic from uh, Sennelier I think it's a French company uh, it's uh, iridescent silver uh, and I bought this today it's part of a set uh, five different uh, 120 mil uh, well bags really I quite like these actually um, and uh, yeah, so there's there's copper, um, bronze, uh, gold, silver, and also um, an iridescent pearl, as they call it. I don't, why that's in metallics, I don't know. But anyway, um, but I thought I'd give this a go and see what it's like. At least this stuff's easy to mix. Look, you just <laughs> just give the bag a squeeze. Right, let's squeeze some out into something. I really should take more care of these. Um, pallets right that should be more than enough to start with oh it's quite stodgy oh it's heavy body acrylic ah so it's uh yeah it's kind of like a structure paint so let's see how this works if this doesn't work we'll fall back to plan b right Too bad, I suppose. It's not quite as good as the uh, the Citadel, but I think if we give it plenty, it should be all right. I think what I might do actually is I might go over it with this and then just give it a very light dry brush over the top with the um, with the Citadel just to kind of pick out any bits that we uh, really want to stick out. I'll do the rest of this and we'll see what it looks like. Right now, that actually looks quite in, it's quite an interesting silver. I quite like that. Um, and so there's a couple of bits we need to do a bit more to. It's like the, these bits in here uh, on the on the uh, film one, they're actually kind of like they look almost like they're anodized red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over with a bit of this uh, uh, Tamiya clear red just to give it that that bit of a red hint. That 
I do. Get in there a little bit more. So, so I don't want it. I don't want it like bright red. I just want it to have a little hint of colour to it. Okay, let's do the other side. It's funny actually when you look at things like that and you, when you look at a picture of it like a still as opposed to it in motion in the film you can kind of see the the techniques that whoever made it used to to finish it and that and it looks like there's a lot of um uh what's that stuff they call it? a rub and buff um it's like a, a rub on like a wax finish uh, well, something like that, but it, uh, you basically rub it on and then you polish it, and uh, and it looks like a lot of this mask has been actually done with with rub and buff, which wouldn't surprise me. Which you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's it's uh, it looks fantastic. It's a great way to do it, but it's just like I say, it's interesting. You can kind of see the techniques that the that the artist used. Right, that looks okay. Now the other thing is these bits down here. Uh, they're almost like, it's not rusty, but they've got like a, a brownish tint to them. So I might put a brown wash on that. I might uh, resort to the old Reichland flesh shade. <laughs> so like I say, it's not, it's not rusty. It just looks kind of like, I don't know, almost like grubby. if that's quite dark enough I might actually go for a, an actual wash uh, brown wash much better idea let's use this ah. oh yeah that's more like it Let's go back over this side. And also um, these bits here, I think I'm going to give them the same treatment. So what I might do with these is actually come back and, and like wipe most of it off. Yeah, let's uh, get a bit of tissue and wipe that off. Yeah, that's more like it. Right, let's do the other side. Okay. That looks pretty good. Uh, I just had to touch up a couple of bits where I, I've got a bit of overpaint. Um, right, let's do a little bit of touch up and then we'll put some varnish on it. And here is our finished article. Uh, I don't think that looks too bad, does it? It's uh, it's not the greatest print in the world, which is not the fault of the of the print. It's more the fault of my printer. Uh, it's not the not the best printer in the world, but uh, I think it looks uh, looks pretty good. It will certainly um, do the job for what it's intended for. So uh, now it's got to go and have a uh, a cloth mask put on the inside of it, the same as the others, and uh, put some straps on it, and we'll add it to our collection. So yeah, hopefully this was uh, of interest to some of you. Um, a few people asked after the last one, had I done a Bane mask or was I going to do one? And the answer was yes, it was already printed, it just I hadn't got around to painting it. So uh, yeah, I've got a couple more on the go, so if anybody's interested, uh, I might do some more of these. But in the meantime, uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.